All right. We're in. So I'm just going to go ahead and spectate. And then options, general, shuffle levels. Bam. All right. What's up? This looks like a pretty straightforward level. Everybody's just kind of... Uh, no fatalities yet even, which is nice. Just up and around. Th this level is pretty linear. Looks like Kipkai knows a way through to the end, maybe? I don't know. They're dropping down. Oh no, they they fell off the track. That's what happened there. So their score got reset, but it's the first map, so it's not like it matters anyway. Uh, bridge. Bridge is having a having a go. Going right through to the end. Kinnix looks like has a bit of a jump on him. Now these two are using, I, I'm assuming, routes that they planned in advance. Um, oh no. What? This isn't green, is it? I guess it is. Green enough. Oh well. We'll have to deal with it. Kinnix has quite a lead on bridge. Uh, Jay, Pines, Creepers Rock. They're uh, further back in... Uh, other parts of the map. Looks like Kinnix has, has uh, secured for himself a first place spot. Bridge looks pretty good for second. Uh, Creeper's Rock just just ate it. Uh, General Kenobi. Ah, looks like he uh, hit that roller right there, but he would have had himself a, a nice third. Jay just barely beat out Pines for, for third. Uh, Pines got fourth. Uh, looks like the only folks left are Nader and B1E 2N7, uh, which, golly, I, uh, ooh, Nader, not quite able to get to, get to the end. B1E, 27N, well, all right, that, that solves that. <laughs> Looks like Nader's a bit out of uh, practice. All right, Kinnix, Bridge, Jay. I'm gonna have to remember to, um, to keep looking at the scoreboards at the end so that I can replay this. Honestly, I, I'm gonna. I'm. Just, I'm probably gonna give the car to anybody who watched the stream. Really, it's just a prize for participating uh, in any. Woo! Von Ver. Ooh, ouch! General Kenobi, off to uh, what I would call a rocky start. What what many might refer to, similarly as a rocky start. Still seeing a lot of wrecks. But. You know, not as uh, not as much nervous tension on this since uh, uh, since uh, the only thing really at stake is leaderboards. Kinnix and Pines, right at the very beginning, or at the very at the very uh, lead. Pines, a little bit of a goof. It's recovering beautifully though. Just you just rolling with it, going with the flow. Kinnix taking on the same kind of a lead that we saw in the first map. Looks like Kinnix has, again, secured for himself. Oh no, Bridge. Bridge beat out Kinnix by four seconds. I didn't even see him. Uh, but that's that's pretty fantastic. A first and a second place. He's off for a, uh, off to a, a really great start. The hat, yes, this is my Christmas beard. All right, let's go ahead and See what everybody else is up to. Nero. Got it. Did it. And I believe that is that. Uh, just four placements here. So it's 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 uh it's getting kind of, it's kinda of tight. No, I don't I don't have the ballistic car model downloaded. I uh, I'm only using accelerators cars on a few few things I modeled. Boy, this is going faster than I thought it would. All right. Kinnix. Now, Kinnix is normally uh, pretty good about, uh, about staying in the lead, lead of the pack. Second only really by, uh, by Bridge, although Bridge Bridge was able to get a good lead in the second map. 
Kinnix, a little bit of a goof right there, but he's working with it. He's, uh, he's playing his cards well, uh, making sure not to do anything too risky, which is a good strategy. Looks like Bridge maintaining his uh, slight lead over Kinnix here. Ooh, a little, little bit of a miscalculation there. Pines of Chaos has had his, re his score reset in a wreck. Wow, lots of stuff going on. I can't keep up. Von Variable, who I don't think has finished quite yet. Looks like he's doing okay. This uh, map is a bit of a confusing maze. If you don't go like in a, in a straight line, uh, it's a bit difficult to understand where you are in the map. Bridge, though, seems to have a good handle on it. Uh, he's uh, in a new area here, as you can tell by... Um, in fact, there are trees. There, there were not trees before. Sparkles, who I have not seen participate in a while, is uh, looks like he's trying to do a bit of pathfinding, from what I can tell. Um, just getting a little bit turned around, it seems like. Uh, now that he's found the track, though, he uh, he's closing in on the end. Kenix, it looks like, has it figured out. Uh, it's taking the upper path and going back through the spiral. But it looks like Sparkles has figured out where the track is supposed to lead. So Kinnix looks like Bridge already at the end, very closely followed by Sparkles. We've got two placements here. Ouch. All right, three placements and a few DNFs. I don't see anybody else in the blazer. It's a bit of a new car, but... Ah, oh, there it is. There's Oofman. Speak of the devil. That's the blazer that's being talked about. Now this is a, a nice kind of straightforward level. Most of the skips you're gonna see here are of the linear variety. Uh, cutting time off of these loops by uh, going from one segment to the other. Now these are very small kind of time-saving skips. Uh, you're not going to see a whole lot of time shaved off by them, mostly seconds or milliseconds. Uh, but they are important to getting a lead or an edge over uh, fellow competitors. And it looks like Kinnix has quite the handle on, um, on these skips, on conserving momentum. Now you can't, you can't, uh, you can't do a hard landing. Uh, that'll kill your momentum. So it's very much about uh, about grace and about uh, fluidity when it comes to uh, see these loops. You have to incorporate your um, your cooldown mechanics into your playstyle. So it looks like Bridge has uh, secured a small lead over Kinnix, uh, which is working well for him these past couple of rounds. Unless, who could that be? Is that Kinnix right there? I can't see the name. Bridge is, yep, yeah, that's Kinnix. Bridge is trying to make up for a little bit of momentum he lost by jumping a bit earlier. Uh, however, it's 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 still unsure whether or not he will manage to secure a lead against. Ah, and it looks like Kinnix! Kinnix clinched it! Right before Bridge could get in the into the end zone. It was it was a little bit uncertain for a little bit there, but towards the end. Towards the end. Kinnix worked it out. And it looks like most of the others are catching up now. Neo Tamora being the last and securing for him a placement. Alright, now we've got considerably more placements here. We got uh, up to 11 places. Alright, we've got some lap tracks next coming up. Don't worry. The level file will change. It will. I just gotta give it time. It's doing a thing. Leg one? No, I haven't, I haven't played the... 
like one yet. There we go. There it is. I told you. You didn't believe me. I bet some of you. Some of you thought I just needed to do it again. But no. I know this game. I know it's quirks. All right. Some bridge maps. Now, uh, Bridge may have a bit of an advantage here since he is the map creator. Now, this is nice because the map is compact enough that I can have an overview of the entire thing, not have to uh, constantly shift my my spectator camera perspective. Looks like Kinnix and Oofman's... Ooh, wow. Kinnix. Kinnix had his score reset. So he's going to have some making up to do later in this tournament if he plans on... Yep. If he plans on... Uh, Ouch. Quite a few deaths here, it seems. But General Kenobi is off to an unusually large lead. Not sure if he's got all the checkpoints yet, but there he goes. Ah, I stand corrected. Um, there goes General Kenobi's lead and all of his points. Um, Bridge has now secured the closest thing to a lead, uh, which is to be expected... Uh, since he is the author of this map and probably has a bit more knowledge on its ins and outs than a few of the other contestants. But Sparkles is really hanging in there. Um, there's not very much of a distance between the two of them. Uh, maybe a second, if that. Uh, and the gap seems to be closing. Although only time will tell. Yeah, music, music is gone. Music would only start if I hit a music zone. I'm just going to narrate in silence. All right. Yeah, every, anyone is free to just hop in. There's no password on the server. If you want to join, just stop on by. All right. Sparkles. Looks like he's lost a little bit of his lead now. Thanks, uh, in, no doubt, in part to Bridge's intimate knowledge of the inner workings of this map. No, if you're late, um, you just get scored on what you participate in. So you can come in at the last minute and still win or place. It just depends on how uh, well you do and how often you die. All right, Bridge still really hanging on to that uh, lead. He, he's he got it sorted out uh, using all the shortcuts at his disposal to make sure that he remains in the lead. Now, it looks like we've only got six contestants left, which is a bit of a thinning of the herd. Uh, I think we've got a total of maybe 12 or, or 16 people total. Um, but Bridge, Bridge has made it. Second by Sparkles, and it looks like Pines, Neo Tamari, J, and Nero 149 coming in. Pines, solid finish. Solid amount of points. I can see him in the top uh, top five easily with his performance so far in this tournament. Just winning points, period, uh, and not throwing them away every other round is enough to ensure that you get a good score. So it looks like we have six placements. Up to six. There we go. Now on to Remnants. It looks like the music is back here. Now, uh, Remnants, a Pines of Chaos map, means uh, the person to, to watch during this map is Pines himself. Where is he? Nick Bridge Pines. All right, the man himself. And here he goes. Uh, looks like he's got a solid handle on the mechanics required for this map, which are mostly just about flow and um, and uh, inertia preservation. Just keeping that momentum going and not losing it with uh, with mess ups. And it looks like Pines, no doubt, uh, in in thank part partly in thanks to uh, what I'm guessing is um, obsessive playtesting of this map, has got a really good uh, kind of method worked out. However. Uh, Bridge is keeping up his trend of startlingly uh, taking on a lead early, maintaining it, 
further in the game, uh, but it looks like he's hit a bit of a snag further on, uh, which Pines was able to avoid. Ah, and a secret, a secret track up and to the right of the map, giving Pines an extra leg up. Another wreck by Kinnix. His score of zero got reset once again to zero. Oh well, it happens. Not like it'll influence his chances of getting the prize anyway. But Pines, very solid lead, uh, and he's showcasing some very, um, very solid and meticulous planning when it comes to um, when it comes to his execution. A lot of the flow required in this map. Vibe checked. Uh oh. I do believe that is a wreck on Bridge's part. Uh, so Pines may very well be taking the lead from here. Unfortunate. And he was doing so well. Oh well. Uh, such, such is the way of these of these events. And just like that, Pines is in the final stages. That is quite a considerable lead. I'm gonna wanna watch until uh, until this plays out at the end. Because if I recall correctly, uh, there's a section of falling debris coming up here shortly, uh, where you have to downhill slope your way uh, through this uh, pyramid. And that should be right now. I'm not sure if the animations will play. Ah, yes. There's a bit of a... Um, a bit of animations that are not... Yep, there we go. There we are. There they are. Debris crashing from the sky, cubes toppling down the slope, and Pines knows every inch of it. Masterful. Neo Tomori coming in second, it would appear, if he is able to keep up his his flow. Looks like he's about got a handle on it. Thought I was going to see a crash right there. Or there. I guess the placement of those blocks is randomized. Um, Nick coming in what looks like third. We may only have three placements here. I'm seeing a, an enormous culling of, uh, of the herd here. Yeah, three placement. Looks like Nick, Neo, and, uh, and Pines only wants to score points on this map. Hopefully... A few contestants were able to reset in order to preserve their score because otherwise we are working with more or less a blank slate at this point. You use the chat in distance by pressing C. Are you participating yet? Because that would be interesting. All right. Ice to meet you by Kinnix. Uh, now this is Kinnix's map. So for this run, I'm going to spectate Kinnix. That's a lot of wrecks. Kinnix, who looks like he is taking a straight path across the ice to rejoin with the track, not wasting his time bobbing in and out, just taking one simple linear route. Sparkles, looks like, was not able to make it to the end. That's a wreck. That's a reset. Kinnix just keeps on going. Very straight. You can tell he knows. Um, he's... This is almost like an internal compass, I'm sure. Uh, you have to spend a considerable amount of time making a map like this. Uh, so he's got a good amount of internal information in regards to the topography here. So he has the entire map more or less in his head. He knows where he wants to go and exactly how to get there. But it looks like, folks, it looks like Bridge has beat him to it. Bridge has, has out-shortcutted Kinnix. When it comes to his own map, that's that's some dedication. That's a first place for Bridge. I don't know how he did it. I wasn't watching. Wasn't even expecting it. But there it is. General Kenobi and Pines uh, bringing up third and fourth, it looks like. Doesn't know the route. A an a another, a better route exists. General Kenobi and Pines taking up third and fourth, respectively. We've got Neo Tomori using those seldom witnessed Diora 2 wings that I spent great time and care crafting, but nobody ever, <laughs> I'm, I'm sure some people aren't even aware of them. 
just, uh, just because of how often wings are disabled. Yeah, wow. You just is participating. I was, I was going to give you the car anyway, but I appreciate you showing up. I don't think you've participated in one of these before. All right, looks like Kip Kai. Last one in the round. Uh, you can see a lot of caution here. There aren't wings on that model. I need to fix that. I need to fix the wings on this model. I don't like how, how bald it is. I'm trying to put wings on everything with varying degrees of success. I don't think this even has boost jets. Floating, flying. You hear the wings. You do not see the wings. They're ninja wings. Whew. All right. Well, let's see if Kipkai is going to make it before the time runs out. He's right near the end. The end zone is in sight. Ah! Ouch. That was painful to watch. So close yet so far away. All right. Looks like we've got eight placements here, so eight folks getting points. Pines of Chaos, um, looking like he has a little bit of a lead. Oh boy. Oh boy, folks! It's time for getting the whole four. Now, uh, if you're smart, you may want to, to trigger finger that reset button. Because um, a death here is a reset of your score, and this is not a map that is meant to be played in challenge I see most people are taking the initiative and uh, and and pulling the skip button on this I uh, I, I have a it's in, it'll be interesting to see what the folks who do choose to participate what their strategy is looks like Oofman Supreme going in blind Interesting map. It looks like the map selection is randomized from one map to the other. A few brave people. No one with the score to protect, however, except for Sparkles, who looks like he is uh, putting all of his um, competitive efforts into flexing collectively, flexing on all of us. That's that is a hard flex. Uh, I, I feel intimidated. Uh, first off, I, I feel intimidated. Um, a little bit anxious, uh, very unsure. I, I have a feeling of vertigo just just from witnessing the spectacle. Um, I I don't think I can watch for very much longer uh, without becoming blind, as a matter of fact. So I'm just going to spectate the next contestant. Oh, rocket launching boy! Hello, thank you for stopping in. Yep. Now uh, this is this is what uh, what I'd call being stuck in a crack. Uh, we see some interesting, interesting competitive strategies here. He's attempting to rescue himself from uh, from the crack, which he is currently lodged as a result of both gravity and his decision to, to fall in the crack. And it, then it was down to two. This is it, folks. This is it. It is, um, this is it. I, I can't very well spectate. Ah, there he is. I made a map for this. I'm not sure if it got accepted. It was very low quality. I, I slapped it together in mostly two hours. Uh, it looked bad, played worse. I'm not sure why, why I did what I did. The next X amount of time here. I can't move on. We've got time to kill. We've done quite a few already. These are going much faster than the realms usually do. That's a reset. So any points he had would be preserved. It looks like there uh, may be a little bit of a fast forward on this timeline. Sparkles? It looks like he's just going to run out the timer. Um, it doesn't appear that... Ah, no, nope. there it is. Spectate. So, a grand total of exactly zero placements. However, several DNFs. All right.
Chat is C, I think, by default, and how it's bound. But you can look at the controls, Newt, if you don't know. It's going to be ominous music throughout the entirety of this map. All right, looks like uh, most folks like their odds. Uh, Bridge, once again, with an early lead. Thanks to his excellent form uh, when it comes to conserving momentum uh, and keeping up a, a constant rate of speed, as well as finding a very good line. Kinnix, uh, looks like momentarily forgot that... Uh, the route veered off into the left. Sparkles, it looks like, has rejoined the game. Ouch! Oh, that, that was painful. All right, um, that's another score reset for Bridge. Hopefully he can make it up in late game. Ouch! And another one for Nick. Surprise pop-up blocker. Now, Kinnix and Pines, it looks like, are still currently active. And Kinnix, it looks like, is doing a pretty good job of finding the right line. Don't worry, disconnects don't count against your score, if that is something that you're concerned about. Ouch. Newt. Ah, there he is. I can't believe it took me that long to notice him. All right. Off and onto the bridge. Doing very well with those transfers, uh, and also, at the same time, being mindful of the pop-up blockers. He's going fast, um, but he's got a good handle on what he's trying to do. He's got his wits about him and uh, a very great degree of control. All right. Looks like he's got this game in the bag. Of course, there is a small chance, small chance that he may veer too low. That chance has just dropped significantly smaller. Woo! There he is. Kinnix and surprisingly, General Kenobi in second place. Now that is quite remarkable. Pines of Chaos, looks like he's slipping in with third, third place, and then Jay in fourth. Uh, Von Variable, last individual And that's, uh, that's a reset. That's a score reset. Four placements. Four placements. There's, there's a considerable amount of culling here. Uh, Kinnix, Kenobi, Pines. I'm not sure what Jay's score is, but I, I'm liking the odds of Pines for, uh, for a high leaderboard placement. Uh, if he can keep his streak up. And now it's time for Against the Flow. All right. Against the flow by City 10, who I do not believe is in attendance. So, uh, nobody to really watch for this game. That was supposed to slide aside. However, uh, local client animations are not a thing, so we get these fun replay artifacts like Kinnix uh, somehow with a considerable amount of speed sliding backwards and upside down. <laughs> uh, and outdoing everybody else. Ah, and there goes Bridge! A slippery Bridge! He'll get away from you! There he goes, right to the end. Jay, there goes Jay's score. There goes Bridge's score. Oh no, no. Uh, Bridge, is, Bridge is rebuilding from here. So um, if Kinnix manages to cinch a second place, he'll still have a competitive advantage over Bridge when it comes to the final tally. <laughs> go. The, uh, the mistrust of water you can see is programmed into both Bridge and Kinnix. 
Although that may have something to do with... Ah, Kinnix making up some lost momentum. Clearing the gap. Oh, 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 and there it is. There it is. Bridge pulling out some, some thruster boosting right at the end. Cinch's lead. And sparkles. Looks like the water is, uh, is trustworthy in this map. Another fourth for Pines, which uh, has, I believe, currently the highest score out of anyone participating, uh, just because of that consistency and reliability, even if he doesn't clinch too many firsts and seconds. Oh, I got a question about... Uh... On uh, the cliffside being part of the cavern. I don't know. I just figured it was a fun Easter egg. Right. Oof. Unfortunate for Nicole. Uh, they'll have to figure out how to get above the water. Looks like there is a bit of a current. <laughs> That's the name of the map. Ouch. Let's see if they can figure out how to get on the uh, end part of the map before this timer runs out. Uh, they've probably got a bit less than 60 seconds. A bit less. Considerably less than 60 seconds. Maybe 30. Yes. You're going to have to figure out. I don't think they've got wings on this level. Otherwise, they probably would have used it by then. Although, I don't, I don't think they've got enough time to get to the end. We'll see. 16 seconds. They'll be able to make it, I think. And that... He's a score! No DNFs this round. Alright, so that is six placements. Whew, get ready, everybody. It's on to the junk realm. Probably gonna be a few disconnects here. This map has a, has a way of just kind of not loading for some people. Uh, that won't affect anybody's score if they're unable to load in for whatever reason. They'll be able to preserve whatever score they currently have. Yeah, it was on purpose. It was an Easter egg. I copied and pasted a section. Ah! Do not fuck. Yeah, do not fuck with this map. Yep. This will be interesting. Um, let's see who chooses to participate. Now, Pines of Chaos making the smart move here. Uh, with spectating. Uh, he's... He is realistic in uh, the volatility of this realm. Looks like a few a bit premature on the um, portal. Yeah. Pines is protecting his, uh, I think currently, the, high, the score that he has, which is uh, a bit higher than everybody else. Nick Looks like he got, got eaten. Got eaten by the magnet. Here goes the scores of Echo's Guide Me. If they had anything. It doesn't look like they're really moving very fast when they're on that uh, swamp track just because of the way the texture changes. Bit of an interesting visual effect. Uh, looks like Neo Tamari has the uh, largest lead. Von Variable somehow survived that crash. Not sure how that happened. Kipkai Fox, further towards the end, still getting past that beginning section. B1, E2, and 7. Currently in last place, judging by the screen on the back of their car. General Kenobi. Um, I'm not sure if he's going on the main route. This looks like a bit of a side road. Uh, I don't think I remember this from last time. Nice turning around. Although I don't know why. Alright. Rocket launching boy on the same route. Oh, I, I see. I think it was a sweeper. Yep. Looks like there's a, a, a sweeper there that most folks have been avoiding that I don't see because it's animated client side. Yep. Alright, Sparkles uh, has some sort of method figured out. Um, taking a gamble that there are no kill grids, which so far seems to be paying off. 
he is finding his way through the valleys of this enormous junkyard, uh, trying to find the exit. Oh no, Cerberus. Well, we'll see how he does. <laughs> All right. Sparkle's playing a bit of a dangerous game here. Hopefully it pays off for him. And just out of range. All right. Hopefully there's no laser grid at the bottom here. And he is able to get all the way over to the end. He's landed it. He's pulled it off. Um, I'm assuming he knows where he's going. There's no way of knowing for sure. Let's see how everybody else is doing. Several folks playing a preset hyperpod route. Uh, ignore the overheat. That's a replay bug for some reason. Happens when you skip back and forth or switch between players. I still don't know why it happens, though. It's a little bit puzzling. Alright, there's a J. A little bit further forward, I think, on this uh, hyperpod route. Definite, you know, uh, J this is Jay's map, actually. Uh, so if anybody would know the best way to get to the end, it would be Jay. Uh, so it looks like if you get a chance to take the hyperpod route, take it. Because uh, it looks like that, uh, that route is very long. Much longer than I remember it being in any of the other uh, Junk Realms, interestingly enough. All right. Bit of junk in the way towards the end, but now he's back on the main track. And very, very near the end. Um, skipping, I believe, all... of the Apex Challenges. Wrecking Balls. Alright. Uh, Nicole Gamer still in the running. Kipkai additionally as well as Sparkles Neo Tamori. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five contestants remaining. Uh, Jay clinching for himself a first placement which is not necessarily surprising. Uh, considering that he is... Wow, that was a close call. Considering that he is the author of this map, most likely has a little bit of insight into common pitfalls. Ah, Cole Gamer. Now, those, um, those wrecking balls can be treacherous. So it's down to B1E, 2N7, and Kipkai. And Sparkles. Three contestants left. Very, very... Philosophical quote by Grendar in chat. Just because you can't see the light in darkness doesn't mean there isn't any at all. Simply haven't looked hard enough for that light. I believe that that quote is referring to uh, to how your irises can can uh, can widen when you're in uh, conditions that are darker, in order to help you see in lower light conditions. You gotta you gotta look harder, and then uh, as your eyes adjust, you begin to see. Now. B1E 2N7 is not taking any chances with these wrecking balls. He is realistic about his odds. Uh, and it looks like might even secure for himself a... Oh, no. 
Sparkles at this point is uh, is toying with us mortals, as he does. Uh, you see, Sparkles, this is this is um, little known information. He's not actually human. Um, he, he's actually an eldritch creature. Uh, this gives him a little bit of an advantage because he can use the tentacles on his on his face and on his hands to achieve a higher level of manual control uh, when it comes to his playstyle. So, uh, this affords him the advantage of... Oh, Jay just left. So it doesn't show up on the leaderboard anymore. Nice. Hopefully he wasn't disconnected. That would be uh, unfortunate. I'll try and remember that he got first place. I'll just I'll just keep the the leaderboard up uh, on top. There we go. Third place for uh, B1E2 and seven, and it looks like Sparkles and Kipkai, the last contestants actually participating. Although Kipkai may have you did get eaten by a magnet ah, looks like Kipkai's made his way past the magnetic pole it is not it is not technically against the rules to not be human uh, I, I just mostly banked on on the fact that that uh, everybody who participated uh, would be, in fact, human. May have been a mistake. All right, let's see if Kipkai can make it to the end in time. Not sure if he has a score to protect. Right through the border there. Looks like that, uh, that is no longer solid. <laughs> Trying to find his way to the end. Ouch! Oh, well, there we go. So, four placements, counting Jay, uh, who I'm not sure if he's returning. All right. Speckled cephalopod, it is not against the rules. Nope. Not against the rules. Uh, now, this level is a bit challenging in some unconventional ways. Um, a lot of the challenge stems from not being caught in the rotating teeth uh, of these tubes. Lost as I played it, but Pines again participating. Very interesting indeed. Bridge. So it looks like Pines once again risking his uh Risking his score on uh, on a map, so that that that's a display of a, a good level of confidence uh, on his part that he can perform in this map, which so far it looks like he is doing using a good amount of care and control here. And no, not too concerned about speed, um, just making sure he finishes. Which is a good long-term strategy for this format. Uh, and may even give him an advantage against... Bridge. Unvariable. It's unclear who is currently in first. Except for that it's most likely Bridge, uh, given his current performance in the tournament, so long as he 
does not wreck. He, he seems to be very consistent uh, in holding up a lead. Uh, both Sparkles and uh, unfortunate uh, General Kenobi not able to survive to the end. Looks like Sparkles not quite enough momentum to carry him through the portal. Alright, and now goes the second section of the map. Pines of Chaos overtaking Sparkles. Uh, which is a little bit of an unusual occurrence. But there's that tenacity, uh, the showcasing of endurance for this tournament. Uh, just being able to resiliently make his way to the end, being cautious enough in his playstyle that he can survive collisions. Sparkles clipping a pop-up. Pines staying on the track. Sparkles looks like not really taking his chances. Uh, with staying on the track proper. Ah! Speak of the devil. Uh, there bridge goes. And there his score goes. Kinnix and Pines. Now Pines is shaping up to be the real champion of this tournament, but it all depends on how well... Uh-oh. Oof! That was painful to watch. Uh, and that's... Pines a score. There goes reset. Well, if he keeps up his, <laughs> his, uh, his his current rate of play, he should be able to make it up in no time. Uh, we have a considerable amount of maps to get through before this tournament is over. Um, <laughs> ouch! <laughs> and I don't believe anybody made it through that. Uh, unless somebody reset or spectated, everybody is playing with a fresh slate. So this game is anyone's guess. So even if you're joining just now, whew, uh, you've got good odds. You've got good odds. This will make scoring easier. I just switch to, just come right to this timestamp. I don't even have to focus on anybody before this time that didn't have a, um, I kind of want to play, but I know I shouldn't. I don't know if anybody else is going to make it to the end here, though. All right, let's see. Let's see how Bridge holds up. This is a very non-traditional. Um, this is a very non-traditional map because, without really warning you, which I need to change. Uh, I need to get some sort of a. Uh, I need to get some sort of a. Yeah, amazing save by Bridge. Not sure if Pines is still in the running. Nick Sparkles. Yep, Pines. Pines has made it. Von Variable. Funky replay. He's uh, being brought up. Newt. Ames. And General Kenobi is actually on the track. Oh, man. Uh, also, to answer General Kenobi's question, it depends on the level of detail you want in the map. The, in the main menu map. General Kenobi may not be able to recover from this. We may not see a whole lot of survival here. Um, because the gameplay in this map... Oh my. This is quite... Quite a masterful uh, play skip by, uh, by Kenobi. And he lands it! He sticks it! Just... Just blindly, blindly into the night. He sticks the landing. That was incredible. Uh, that incredible amount of foresight. Uh, if he can keep, if he can manage to survive for the end of this map, there's no way he's not getting it first. All right, Pines of Chaos is bridge as well. Von Variable. Everybody seems to be doing a bit better uh, than I anticipated. Sparkles also taking on the same strategy. Uh, looks like he is um, If you're interested in a um, 
and a commission grandar. Just DM me on Discord. We can go over rates. All right. Sparkles, uh, pulling the same strategy as uh, General Kenobi. Let's see if he can manage to stick the landing. Looks like he's aiming a bit low, but it has pulled... It has is, it, it is paid off. He has managed to pull it off. Uh, I'm not sure if General Kenobi is even still... He is still alive. Uh, not taking the hyperpod route, uh, which a little, little bit risky. Uh, so I can understand and appreciate. People are doing uh, considerably better on this map. Much, much better. Resetting keep you safe? Oh yes, yes. Resetting gets you, keeps you safe. Ouch. Did bridge get reset again? Ah! Well, there goes there goes Pines' score again. Yep. Yep, very, uh... Admittedly. Very limited playstyles available during this map. If it wasn't in DAC, we wouldn't even be playing it. It doesn't very well fit the sprint formula. However, that isn't stopping General Kenobi from cinching this win, it would appear. He's made it past the final hurdle. So unless something very unfortunate happens in this last stretch, which doesn't look like it's going to happen. It's a first place placement. General Kenobi now in the lead towards the very end of this tournament. Ouch. Uh, lightning strikes do actually harm you. Um, keeping a safe distance from the li lightning strikes is, is necessary. Uh, Nick Elements <laughs> using his, his reset in order to survive that Otherwise, disqualification. Or not disqu- To otherwise- survive what would otherwise be a score reset. We still got Kip Kai and... Newton Oofman. Um, that are... <laughs> uh, that are still in the game. The timer is not... Going yet, uh, so Kipkai, if he can manage to keep this up, uh, might even manage to uh, to place himself in in second place. At the beginning. Yeah, it looks like General Kenobi did a good amount of uh, legwork before the tournament. All right, Newt got tired of trying to escape. It it would appear. And General Kenobi is hopping out, taking a score of 25 and leaving. Now that score, that, that's what his score is going to uh, stay at, hmm. since he's no longer participating. Meaning that if nobody manages to get a higher score, uh, that's how it'll all shake out. Of course, I don't really know who's currently in the lead, um, because I'm not keeping active score. Uh, so there's probably a few su uh, surprises. It'll uh, pop up later. Looks like Kipkai has taken the route with a um, without a hyperpod. Driving. On the normal route. Kind of taking it slow. Taking advantage of the fact that there is uh, not anything timed right now. Just a finish, period. Um, let's see if you can manage to avoid all of the strike pads all the way to the end. A couple of close calls, but he seems to be pulling it off so far. Oof. Oh, looks like he, he triggered one, but was able to recover just because of his low speed. And what you're not seeing, because this is a replay, uh, are the lightning strikes. Very interesting.
Keep Kai. May. <laughs> Keep Kai may end up surviving to the end uh, if he is able to weed out some of the more unfair obstacles towards the end. That home stretch is the real test. Uh, it takes a bit of practice to avoid death here. And the car sounds, for whatever reason, are resuming. I don't know why, but I'm getting very nervous. Just watching this is is setting me on edge. It's like building tension for a horror movie, and the silence only adds to it. Oh boy. Now here comes the real test. Let's see if he makes it. There's some parts where it's unavoidable to uh, build up momentum. It looks like he was able to dodge the first medium strike pad. The second one as well. Let's see if he can maintain control of his car at such a low speed. And it looks like he's through the gauntlet. However, there's still a chance that one of these final strikes gets him. What would really be unfortunate is if he forgot to boost at the very end and just fell off the track after all the effort he put in. Because that is, that is some grade A caution right there. Engage boost thrusters. And there he goes. 60 seconds left for Oofman. Now that is uh, Kipkai and General Kenobi, who's not showing up in the um, leaderboard because he left. So that is two finishes. Uh, it looks like several spectates as well. Kinnix was not risking it, so he may have a bit of a score that remains. Ugh. I'm going to assume that he is not going to magically uh, pull off kind of a clutch late game. We're just going to just gonna go right, move right ahead. Um, uh, stunt reverse tags, maps. Maybe. If we got time, then yeah, we'll just switch over. We'll see who gets points. All right, looks like a few people are not taking the chances. But everybody else is going right ahead. And Cerberus looks like has some sort of uh, uh, skip route in mind. He knows how to get the end zone area, followed by Sparkles. It looks like he went through some sort of a warp anchor? The lighting changed a little bit. Not, uh, not following any sort of, any sort of road, map, or trail other than what I'm assuming he, he uh, can see in his head. But it looks like it's serving him well completely out of bounds here um, but that may be exactly what the doctor ordered for uh, for coming in first I think elements wrecked aims wrecked seen a lot of a lot of damage that is a lot of damage uh, Cerberus you can manage to stay intact for the remainder of this map which it appears he is able to pull off easily um, May just secure for himself if he can beat out Sparkles, who seems to have taken a bit of a lead. Um, it 
little bit of a little bit of looping around here. Not not really sure where Cerberus is going at this point. Wherever he's going, ah, looks like uh, Sparkles is headed to the exit. This may be an unplanned off road. Um, I'm not sure Cerberus is is even quite sure where the exit is. Um, looks like the map wasn't quite finished, but we do have finishes by both Sparkles and Bridge, so that's a good amount of points being racked up by uh, most everybody who got their score reset in uh, whatever map that was, which was uh, Creeper's Rocks? Yeah. Maybe? Yeah, I think so. Alright, looks like Pines still in the running here, and uh, shaping up to a bit more of a secure... Uh, victory than, um, than Cerberus. Kinex, who's still. I think I got Kinex and Sparkles refuse, confused because I, uh, I, I saw Kinex and then immediately just became very unsure of myself. Like, wait a minute. He finished, didn't he? That's Kinex and Pines of Chaos, Von Variable, Neo Tamari, Red L, Newt, Oofman, and Cerberus. Still in the running. Uh, Von Variable scoring. Neo Tamari still on the main course, right towards the end. Uh, catching up with both Sparkles and Cerberus. Cerberus who appears to just be hanging out on top of the end zone uh, as a signal of uh, his intention to not seriously compete. Um, Red L hanging out on the shiny portion of the track. Red L, Newt, and Oofman. Uh, I'm not sure if Oofman is still. Yeah, it strikes me as a bit AFK. That's the vibe I'm getting. Uh, but he is keeping the timer from triggering. Uh, so, in, in, in a way, that is a form of participation. Uh, looks like there's a bit of a gravity shift here way to really explain Red L's apparent ability to hover. Interesting. Yep. Makes sense. Uh, Newt uh, actually keeping up the pace, which is very impressive considering the advanced level of these tracks um, and him being out of, as out of practice as he is. Chris Cars. Hold on, man. Roof Man is just some eye candy. Yep. He's sitting there being pretty. Red L finishing. Roof Man. Kind of sitting there. Looks like we've got nine placements. So far. That is that. Nine placements. Newt scoring some points last minute over Roof Man. Yeah, Oofman's going to win the tournament. Now, what we have here um, is an experimental map. So, this is um, another one of, su of the submissions. I mean, I played, I played uh, all the other submissions. Yeah, even, even getting the whole four. This is more or less free points. Um, not really a map that's meant to be played competitively, though. So it's, uh, it's a little bit of tomfoolery on um, behalf of the author, uh, which is Predatory Balloon. Although I'm sure unintentionally. Alright, Red Isle, Cerberus, Rocket Launching Boy. Staying the course. Unaware, I would assume, of the fact that the finish line is right at the beginning. Gotta feel sorry for him. Neil Tomori. Red L, Rocket Launching Boy. Let's see. Is this the updated uh, model? I can't remember. Or is this the old one? I think this is the updated one. Maybe. No. Yes. No. No, it's not. No, no, it's not. Bottom's different. 
bottom's different on the updated one that I actually gave you. I'm gonna have to find time to import that. All right, there's Cerberus. It's at the beginning, yep. The finish is at the beginning, the very beginning. Like literally you turn left right after you load in. That's where the finish line is. Hashtag just pred things. Now this is a map that uh, Oofman could, could, could clinch you really wanted to. This is a points for everyone map, except for the few poor saps that that uh, uh, hit an unfortunate snag. Unfortunate collision or two. Like Cerberus here, who I'm not sure is going to be... Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know if they're going to be able to climb the track. Uh, the gravity is inhibitively strong. Ouch. Red L. Finding his way back. Oofman, Rocket Launching Boy, and Cerberus. The last individuals participating. Rocket Launching Boy hanging out in the uh, Chevy Blazer. He's blazing it. Just barely. <laughs> so close and so far. Two maps in a row. Newt's finished. Well, you're gonna finish with a score, buddy. So, hopefully, that is comforting. All right, let's see here. Uh, that is a total of 14 placements. That is a lot of points that I gotta hang out, uh, hand out, so, uh, that's nice. A lot of people finishing. Dakar 2077. No, you don't lose your score if you leave. All right. All right, Cerberus. And there's a total of 14 placements and one spectate. And that is that. I'm just gonna move on. Thank you, thank you for the compliment on the hat. I, I like this hat as well, it's very fluffy. This'll be fun. Uh-oh. All right, we've got an arcade machine here. Looks like uh, Crispy playing uh, the arcade machine by tapping the the, uh, the bumpers. Sparkles, that was quick. Um, so for anybody struggling, basically remaining on the uh, the ten thousand point spot ramps your score up really, really quickly. You can't see it here, but there's a, a live scoring element. And then as soon as you get a score of at least a million, or no, 100,000, then uh, all you gotta do is uh, hop right in the end zone. Uh, but until then, you just play around, have fun inside this uh, arcade machine. Ouch, rocket launching boy. Getting wrecked, and uh, that is some of the danger here. Is that there's a very unpredictable chrome ball, pinball, just pinging around inside this machine. All right. Let's see if Kip Kai, B1E, 2N7, Nicole Gamer, Creepers Rock, Nick, Echoes Guide Me. Not Nick anymore. <laughs> and uh, Oofman Supreme as well as, I think that's Ames. Yeah, Ames can make it to the end here. Since there's a, a bunch of people still driving around, I'm not gonna call it yet. However, I am gonna get a look at the leaderboards. Sparkles, Pines, and Bridge are the only two who, has, who have finished, managed to avoid being wrecked. And that is most likely due to foreknowledge of the map and its mechanics. Creeper's Rock managed to get it done. 
Now Nick. Looks like reset right in here. Red L. And you can see death spots for the few who um, did die. That's that's quite a bit of distance. It looks like a, a bunch of people were just kind of launched. Ah uh, yes, Kinex. Kinex spectating. Echoes guide me. Just ate it. Uh, looks like B1E2 and 7. Kipkai and Nicole. The only ones currently. I know, I, yeah, I know there's somebody playing the uh, arcade machine. Yeah, that's that's crispy. The bag is a, is a creative choice. Axel using the Waymint uh, emoji from Discord. B1E, 2N7. Let's see how long they can last. Ah, Kipkai. I was not able to make it. That's down to Nicole and B1E. And it looks like they are taking their time getting points from interaction with the bumpers, which might take a bit. All right, a um, little, little bit, of, bit of a spoiler here. If you want to win, uh, you're, you're gonna wanna hug this spot right here. This is your friend, right here. Uh, because uh, this little spot has a trigger zone that will very quickly ramp up the score and open the end zone. So, uh, B1E. Uh, well, it looks like... Like, uh... Oofman and whoever else are the only people playing. I don't see anybody moving around. So that's five placements. Which is, uh... Pretty solid. Ah, it's another bridge map! SNES Rainbow Road. Seen you know, quite a bit of banging from these uh, wampers. They're very unhappy about it. All right. At least they're getting a bang, I guess. Synchro, but instead of the dragon head, I'm going to put Waymint in it. Excellent. Tasteful. Ah, Serbs, Pines, Nicole, Creeper's Rock actually managed to reset. Uh, Von variable that is uh, that is what, what what I would call a tragedy. That's a lot of points, just breathing a death rattle. Uh, Bridge, I'm assuming, is in the lead. I'm assuming uh, he's just lapping B1E uh, because of uh, B1E's excessive caution. Uh, well, I'm once again assuming that uh, that Bridge has got the proper routes just about figured out for this map. There's Kipkai managing to stay in the running. Anybody who is surviving, really, at this point, um, is going a, a good ways toward placing well. It's about preservation of points, um, even when that includes strategically spectating. Now, Bridge, scaring a first, Sparkles third, J fourth, Mechanics fifth. Followed by Echo's Guide, Me, Neo Tamari, Rocket Launching Boy, if you can survive to the end, uh, Kipkai, Biwani, Armist, and Neo. Let's see what lap he's on. Nope. Still more. All right, Kipkai. Kipkai was in the lead, apparently. Hard to tell with these lap maps. You got to keep track of everybody the whole time. The Galaxy? Oh my, that is a very good work of particles. Oof, man's on the move. Rocket launching boy. Uh, let's see if he's uh, finishing the laps properly. Now, because you need to trigger... You need to trigger the... Um... All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna move the perspective around so you can see the galaxy in the background because it is very pretty. And you could see the um, the places where all of the different players died, including Oofman now. 
Ames and Rocket Launching Boy are the last remaining players. Wow. Get star thwomped, apparently. Rocket Launching Boy, who is uh, what what appears to be going backwards. For a uh, different reason. Yeah. Ames and Rocket Launching Boy. Hard to tell who has a higher lap count. Ouch. Rocket Launching Boy. Ouch. Yeah, that is some that is some that is some spectacular particle work. Alright. What's the leaderboard looking like? Ten placements. Uh, and no spectates. All right, time for COVID Xmas with two S's. X mass. All right, let's see how our uh, participants fare on this map. From the comments I'm getting, it appears like it can be a, a bit unpredictable. Starting out with Nick. Up and around. Jarminx and Yuani both reset. Kipkai and Ames uh, both wrecked as they exploded from overheating. Same could be said about Neo Tomori. Now, dying doesn't mean you can't continue, it just means your score gets reset. And you can avoid that by resetting. Resetting is a zero score, but it keeps what you've got intact, uh, which looks like Von Variable was able to do. Red L is now a zero score as well. I'm probably going to have to work backwards on this. Ouch! Rocket launching boy, again at a zero score. All right, Nicole Gamer, also at a zero. Oof, man, uh, he's sticking in there. A little bit further than that, uh, wait, maybe not quite as, ouch. Got got by one of the rollers, it looks like. Can't blame him, the rollers are one of the more difficult hazards. Uh, Pines, didn't quite make that transfer. That's all right, he's uh, still uh, in the good runnings. He is still on track the end of this thing. Alright, that's there goes Cerberus's score. Let's see who else we have. Pines. Still at it. Sparkles, Nick. At Pines. Uh, Bridge finished. Kinnix finished. Now Pines. Uh, now Sparkles and Nick is very close to the end here. And that is the end zone. We have our victors. Okay, so that is, oops. That is five placements for this round and one spectator. We got Pachinko coming up next. Um, if you care about preserving your score, this may be a good map to spectate on. Then again, if you want to take a little bit of a risk, then it's time to plink on down into one of the mini uh, one of the mini end zones. Looks like we are seeing a good amount of finishing, a good amount of points scoring. Uh, because no matter how you score, uh, as long as you're careful with uh, not violently running into walls too much, the Unity Pachinko machine is, is kind. It's impossible to die, you say. I guess if you get stuck on a peg, that'd be unfortunate.
B1E. It does look like it's very difficult. Um, doesn't look like it's very difficult to... Um, to die over here. It's sort of an invisible field keeping you inside the Pachinko machine, but that is a lot of speed. Uh, must have something very specific to do with Unity's physics in order for it to, uh, to keep the car alive. Warp anchor blocks you from resetting. Well, let's see what the uh, scoreboard looks like so far. 14 finishes. Oofman pulling in first. Pines of Chaos getting third. Looks like a few folks did not choose to risk it. Neo, I'm, I'm sure, did anybody die? Nobody, wow, it looks like death is, really is turned off on this pachinko machine, remarkably. So I am just gonna go ahead and um, and uh, move on. So we've got 14 finishes here. Silent Night is what we're on to next. You know, I for some reason I thought that this would not take as long as it's taking, but we've got way more maps than uh, we normal to play with roster wise there's 27 maps i'm not sure how many we've been through already but probably a good amount all right neo tamari looks like in or close to the lead jay's silent map is um in very much in jay's style in that it is straightforward obstacles transfers and simplistic scenery and good track flow so the challenge with this um map is more just about Finding the right route uh, and avoiding those obstacles. There goes Jarmings to score again. Steven Walkings. Ouch. Neo uh, still managing to stay somewhat near the beginning. Ah, there are those wings. Pines having no trouble at all here. This is the uh, style of map that he's most familiar and comfortable with. Just as I said, uh, I apologize if I jinxed you, because uh, there's a good possibility of that. I've been, I've been known, I've been known to perform the odd jinx unintentionally, which is very unfortunate uh, and not at all humorous. And there goes Cerberus to score again. And Pines and Cerberus playing with a blank slate at this point. That is the format of the endurance tournament. Uh, hence the name endurance. Less about uh, less about speed, more about economy. Uh, building up an impressive score can take time and patience, and it can all go away in an instant, as we've seen time and time again here. But it looks like Bridge is securing for himself a solid first, followed by Kinnix, uh, Sparkles, Von Variable, Jay, Nick, uh, Neo, and Oofman. Uh, and they are all, looks like, past uh, any sort of hard parts of the game. Ah, looks like Ams is still... Uh, uh, still in the running. Rocket Launching Boy also still also still um, actually very close to the end at this point. Uh, it's difficult to tell where players are in this map. There may be multiple exits as a matter of fact. It looks like we've got 11 uh, 11 entries into the leaderboard. Ah yes. World Race Leg 2. A few folks spectating. And it does make sense. Um, the gameplay in this map is uh, a bit unconventional. And you can't see the animations for the um, portal or anything else because they're tied to local animators, which I... I, f I feel like I still have to point it out time after time again, just because what one player sees is being basically performed on on their PC with triggers that only they can hit. Um, it's, it's not server side, but we're seeing a lot of 
Ouch, Creeper's Rock. Also playing with a blank slate, Pines. Looks like he's taken on the challenge. Uh, probably figures he has nothing to lose. And he would be right. Uh, he has a score of zero. So even if he did die here, he would lose nothing. One of the benefits of having your score reset. Uh, you don't have anything to protect. Mm. So, odds are, because, because it just seems to be the way things work sometimes, uh, Pines of Chaos will do well here uh, when he has no score to add to and when it doesn't matter if I jinx him. I'm not sure what you'd call this, uh, a sideways corkscrew? But uh, this this map uses the same mechanics as uh, uh, my Storm Realm in that you are unable to use rotational thrusters, which is quite a, quite a shift from normal distance gameplay. Something like uh, Jay's gameplay to this, uh, that's, that's a considerable adjustment um, that one has to make. And which, what it looks like, uh, Pines, Nicole, Von Variable, Nick, uh, they all seem to be faring rather well. So for Neo, who is uh, also, at this point, playing with a blank slate of a score. Unfortunate. But unavoidable. Oofman, also keeping up with Pines and Nicole, who from what I can tell, ouch, uh, looks like I jinxed it again. Pines, Pines got to, uh, became intimately acquainted with a rock wall. Lovely criticism. All right, Oofman, fell off the track, but at the most convenient time. Uh, that worked out rather well for him. Probably should have boosted there. Ah. Tipped over self-riding, it looks like, is turned on. Uh, so using his thrusters to... Oh, no. The bridge collapsed. Well, if the bridge collapsed, then that... That is, that is what you might call ironic. Anyway. Rocket launching boy Cerberus. Stephen Walking's... Poop Kraken? Hmm. J Bone J, B1E, Nick, Red L, quite a few more contenders than I would assume, uh, but no one has yet fetched first prize, first place. Oofman appears to be just sticking to the um, to the cave walls, but from what I can tell, he is more or less in the lead, or was until he got overtaken by Rocket Launching Boy. I think is who that is. Nope, that's Nick. That's Nick Elements. Didn't, wasn't able to read the name. Cerberus securing for himself a first place. And Oofman finally back on the track. And back on the road to the finish line. From this point on, there's not much of the way of challenge. Mostly just a few valleys. And then the end of the map. You can see the purple route, which is difficult to uh, traverse, which would explain why very few actually chose it. Um, which would explain why very few... Um, contestants actually decided to choose that. Alright, looks like uh, Oofman decided to not take his chances, just spectated to secure his score, which Red Al may do at this point. B1E still on the track. Rocket Launching Boy is is free fallen. I had to fight. I don't know. I don't know if you could hear that in my voice, but I had to fight internally to not sing <laughs> free fallen all right and b1e securing for himself a finish getting himself on the leaderboard getting himself some points rocket launching boy and red l all right so currently we have a leaderboard of three cerberus nick elements and b1e
rocket launching boys and, a, and an ascended uh, Chevy Lambo, apparently. Red L, still trying to find the exit. Uh, has managed to survive this far, but is now in a bit of a tricky situation. Um, low visibility. He appears to be going the right way, though. Because he is moving toward Hoofman's death site. And he's managed to find a way to get back on the path. Now, if he clinches this, he is going to have himself some points here. I do believe that, that uh, we're just trying to get turned around here. 60 seconds left. And he is headed towards the back. Looks like he very nearly lost the track again. Ouch! That's a wreck. Uh, probably a little bit of anger coming from that. Yep. The end of this... Uh, end of this map's... Uh, leaderboard is, is staying at three. All right, JoJo's Bizarre Map. I don't, I don't think I recorded a video of this. I kind of want to play. I know I shouldn't. I got to spectate. That's how I play. All right. Hmm. Kinnix, it looks like, unaware of the real path. Mostly just kind of spitballing when it comes to um, off-road routes. Which appears to be working against him a little bit. Hmm. Not anymore. Uh, he's caught up with... Um, you know, Tamari and Bridge, who, who um, we've found a road, may lead to the end. Uh, there's no way to really tell. Ah, there goes Nick Elements' to score. <laughs> Playing with a blank slate towards the end as well. I don't feel bad. Pines, I think, is currently at a uh, out of nothing. This map has a bit of an interesting take on Ouch. Uh, sorry about your frustration. Um, it's all for fun anyway. If you'd like to uh, to join and savor the misery of, of those who who continue to participate, then feel free to join the stream, join the uh, audience, become a participant. Pines, it looks like, is going to make it to the end. I shouldn't have said that. Whew. Can't jinx myself now. Don't see that car very often. Uh, the um, droned... Droned... Um, who's in my what's it's? Red L is, is actually making it very close to the end. Oh, I feel like I shouldn't have said that either. Ouch. That's a reset. Well, at least he kept his score, his score of zero. That's another reset. Rocket Launching Boy also getting himself some points. Cerberus. Last one here. It looks like the uh, the baseline car model just kind of hangs out. All right, so that is uh, six people on the leaderboard. I am going to head on to Gardens. Haven't played this yet. Haven't played this. So this is this is going to be a little bit of a surprise. This is a uh, this is mapped by Ash. Uh, he's a very uh, talented and long-term member of uh, Refract's development team. All right, Kinnix, uh, looks like a golden refractor, which is Sparkles, finding its way towards the end. This uh, this map is very much, very, very much more in the official style of uh, 
refracts uh, map making in that it um, uses a lot of uh, kind of official assets, themes, and um, and models, which makes sense. Um, they have access to uploading customized meshes for the express purpose of, uh, of customizing kind of the, the gameplay feeling for these maps. And you could really see it. I'm getting a lot of uh, Nexus vibes from this, most likely because there's a lot of Nexus assets and Nexus themes and that's, this probably is just a Nexus map. That, now that was smooth. Wow. That, that was, that was, that was smooth right there. I don't, I don't know how Kinnix even did it. He, that was very near collision. He just pulled it off. And Bridges somehow managed to beat him to the end. Bridges, uh, he's pulling it off. Kinnix, Sparkles, Pines, Nick, Neo, Jay. Uh, seeing a really good finish rate for this, which is, uh, which is nice. Uh, everybody's racking up a whole lot of points. Which will be even more delicious when they inevitably die later on. Invisible wings, there they go again. Ah, the bane of my existence. Riveted actually has wings now. Uh, Ames, Cold A. I think this has wings as well. Yep, there it goes. Too shiny. I gotta fix that. Gotta fix that. Ah, yeah, I remember. I did that. That was the thing I did. That was fun. Ouch. I oh, made it. Cerberus and Red L. Still in the map. Last folks participating. Red L. Pulled it off, I believe. Yep. Made it. 15th. That's some points. Ouch. That's a blank slate for Serb. Alright. So a total of... 15 placements, everything I see on that screen. Beat, block, back row. It's coming up next by, um... Oh! Fucking nice! Hey, that's that's pretty fucking G right there! That's what I'm talking about. Shit, yeah. Hey, Ames, I know you're watching. That is much appreciated, my friend. That's a, that's, 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 that's a fucking big dick move right there. And now you can't even see which one is active and which one isn't. Ah, Cerberus. Once again playing with a score of zero. Now, uh, staying on the blocks for too long, which you cannot see, because this is the replay mode, you cannot see which is active and which is not. There's a reason uh, that the people participating are hanging out only on one side and then the other. Mm. And it's because... Uh, each one um, kind of they uh, they they vanish at timed intervals. This is very much a um, one of those like uh, hat in time sort of challenges where um, where the, uh, the platforms are not persistent. Pines of chaos spectating smart. He has a score to protect. Makes sense. Lack of confidence um, or or a uh, situation where you are not confident of your abilities and. Uh, Ability to score. Wow, that is a leaderboard of four people. That was probably uh, the right move to spectate. So Jay, Pines, and Ames are. Oh boy, we're we're uh, we're shifting gears into Snowman's Dungeon now. Anybody without some enormous confidence um, or just fearlessness of losing their score. 27 maps. There's 27 maps in this playlist. Anybody, anybody without some real fearlessness, um, or, or, uh, uh, you know, or just, I guess, stupidity, I guess. Um, anybody, anybody who's watching right now, if you've got a score to protect, don't play the map. <laughs> don't do it. The odds that you get through without dying are very small. Although Creeper's Rock is... Oh, Pines! There goes Pines' score as well! Ouch! Ah, 
Yeah. So the only people with the score still is looks like it's gonna be Bridge and Sp Bridge Sparkles, Ames, Kinnix. Ouch. Jarminx and Cerberus still in it. Uh, and Cerberus, the madman, he's actually participating. Then again, I don't, I don't think he's got much of a score at this point. Not anymore. <laughs> Certainly not anymore. Jarminx, somehow, uh, not, not, not getting very far. That's a zero on the on the leaderboard. This is a this is another. This is another one of those get in the hole four type maps. It just don't work in sprint, but which I've included anyway. <laughs> with uh, with with free advice to not play them. Pachinko, I thought was one of those maps, but I guess it's it's um. enough to to not die on Pachinko. I don't think a single person died. Ouch! Uh, Jarminx, Stephen Walking, Sage Kawai. Scores are gone! Finds a Chaos, score is gone again. Of course, the score was zero, so he, he didn't really have much to lose here. Sparkles Bridge. Uh, really, really pulling it off here. Red L, once again, score of zero. Ah, Kirito. Managed to, managed to pull it in at just the last second here. Boy, this event may last a little bit longer than two hours, the way things were going. I'm not sure exactly how many maps I've done and how many I've left since I'm playing randomly. Well, J score, gone. Gold day score, gone. Bridge, Kinnick, Sparkles, I mean, you can tell they like this map. Sparkles, I believe, securing himself a first place. Uh, bridge, man, it's still holding it over. Uh, still holding it, holding it over. Kinnix. It seems like this entire event, Bridge has just been <laughs> antagonizing Kinnix, uh, just by just by swooping in right at the last minute. Wow. Ouch! Nick Elements. Gone! There goes the score. All right, Cerberus, uh, last participant. I believe that is a leaderboard of three. Grand total of three. All right, Cerberus and Ames. Protecting that score. Cerberus, um... Not sure if he knows where the exit is, but he's uh, he's going the the same route of um, of off road net right towards the end. You can see uh, a lot of kind of um, frantic high speed control right into a zero score, right into a reset. So that's a leaderboard of three. All right, time for some more um, predatory balloon maps. Yeah, only one or two people will probably have a score. Uh, I'm going to score this just by going backwards and uh, eliminating as many people as I can on the last map. So, wow. Who knows what the last map will be also uh, because this is being played out of order unless somebody's memorized all the possible maps. Yeah. Who knows? Newt is still watching. What's he doing? What's he doing up in... It's got to be late. I mean, he's he's in a 12-hour time zone difference. Ah, form of discovery. Rocket launching boy. Going off-road for an interesting reason. Uh, I'm not sure if they actually have a um, different route in mind or if they just kind of missed the turnoff there. Sparkles, reliably, um, has a handle on... What?! Now that's crazy. That's a, that's a lot of kind of organic map making right here. I'm getting uh, backgrounds vibes uh, from this track. A lot of just kind of, or like I said, organic um, 
themes. Um, the walls look kind of alive. You see some very interesting particle collections. Uh, and also the sections of track connected by teleporter. A very backgrounds thing to have, um, which Predatory Balloon uh, seems to have picked up on a little bit thematically. Not sure if he was influenced by that map, ma map making style. Bridge! Bridge is holding one over on Sparkles now as well. Oh man. Oh man. Oh, I love that mural on the ceiling. I think it's composed entirely out of... Ouch, there goes uh, Nick's score and Kipkai's score as well. I think that mural is composed entirely out of particles, uh, which is an imp it's, it's, a, it's an art medium in and of itself, it seems like. Uh, mostly expressed through mathematics. Uh, there goes Sparkles. And Bridge. And into the ladder they go. Wow, and again. Another layer. It's been a while since I played this. I forgot just how many levels there are to this map. Uh, a real treat. Sparkles is doing his damnedest to catch up to Bridge, but Bridge is holding on to that lead. Look at him go. Um, once again, more uh, uh, ace, uh, asynchronous kind of sections of track held together by teleporters. Bridge is still, still pulling it off. Uh, but Sparkles is not about to leave it up to chance. He is uh, taking, a, taking a bit of a shortcut here. Although it doesn't look like it was enough. Bridge, still secure in first place. Sparkle second, uh, Kinnix third. Jay, it looks like fourth, which is a good amount of points. Kirito uh, coming in towards the end of the stream, uh, getting himself a nice fifth place. Pines, not dead yet. Uh, still has, uh, still making some scores, uh, still mostly towards the end. Uh, not quite of a, uh, quite as much of a, a blitz of a, uh, a, uh, of a, of a gameplay, but um, there's still a considerable, um, considerably uh, good, Good performance here. Maybe a few gaffes earlier, but it looks like he is currently the last remaining player and he's securing for himself in this map some points. So anybody who did not spectate or did not leave past this point, no score. Uh, we've got six players. <laughs> hey, and that's it. That's it. That's the playlist. That's the playlist. That is it, you guys. That is it. Yeah, that was all the levels. <laughs>